to take a look at some of the damage here in Warren County cleanup underway there from this evening's storms. And we've learned at least some sirens in Clinton County actually didn't work when a tornado warning was issued there. Reporter Jake Ryle is speaking with some who are sounding the alarm now about not hearing them. Well, crews are working into the overnight hours to try to fix what could be possible tornado damage here in Warren County. The sound of chainsaws echo through this portion of Route 350 in Washington Township Wednesday. Here, one large tree damaged a steel guardrail on the bridge for Todd Fork. A captain with the Warren Clinton Joint Fire District tells me the storm damaged power lines, a car, camper, and did minor damage to a home and barn nearby. Nobody was hurt. Well, the possible tornado damage took place about a quarter mile or so away from where we are standing in Warren County, where the tornado sirens went off. But across the county line here in Clinton County, that wasn't the case. I spoke with several homeowners who didn't want to go on camera, but did tell me the sirens in Clarksville didn't sound. They say the storm's path hit too close to home for them not to have the siren warning. So we called to find out why they didn't go off. In Clinton County, the emergency management agency is not responsible for sounding the siren. That falls on Wilmington police. We called the chief twice, once after business hours, and are awaiting to hear back. Recent posts from the police department show a test for all sirens statewide, including 13 in Clinton County, was supposed to be done Wednesday. But due to the storm, it was canceled. The county does have a red alert notification system set up for folks who want to get updates on their phone and computer. But if those aren't nearby, a siren might be someone's only chance at being notified. Fire officials I spoke with say the National Weather Service will be on scene Thursday morning to determine if what took place here was due to a tornado. We'll have more information on WCPO.com. For now, reporting in Washington Township, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.